No, the German crowd is definitely hyped for it. So let's see if they can do it, or it will be a heroic 2-0. to But big, they have the crowd with them. Four flashbangs in this pistol round. One nade, no smoke on the CT side. That is really crucial, but a smoke and a flashbang on Snappy. So they're probably going to go for something quick, maybe towards A long. And we can see Garb again, waiting for the push to come out. He's going to have himself a potential to get a lot of kills if he positions himself properly. And there's two out of nowhere. Freeze and Nico gone dead to the ground. He'll be flashed, but despite being completely flashed, somehow gets a third. Now Keeves in the cross. Mahdi's completely blind. He does finally take down Garb B, but it doesn't matter. He's alone and he's dead as the guys from Big will take the pistol. You're on map number two. Garb B, ladies and gentlemen, he has been playing ob almost for as many years as Paul has been actually in esports. And that is a terif terrifying amount of years. He has been in this game for so long. And now on the big stage here in his home country in Germany, and look at that. Picks up the first couple of frags, and then look at that. Perfect. The third Triple. one's the most impressive one. Completely blind, spraying and praying, basically. And, well, the prayers pay off as he does get himself a third kill and ultimately shuts down that hit from Heroic. The second round, though, is going to boil in, and they do invest heavily. But Big have invested just as heavily now with big, with a lot of SMGs rolling in. Four of them, in fact. Taps is going to pick up the only rifle to work with. And they've got plenty of utility to hold back Heroic. We'll have to wait and see what they tend to do, but it's a, it's a very large stack of their players towards mid currently. Let's see here, smoke pops down into CT, so that is set up for a B split. The question is, are they going to go on this? Are they going to rotate around? But right now, the CT players are pushing out their position. There's a CT coming in, flanking from behind, from top mid, and all the terrorist players are will be ca caught off guard, but they're actually leaving the situation right now. So uh, it won't really do that much damage. And also, with Gobby missing those shots, then it doesn't really matter. Well, they're all going to fall back now over here towards the T-spawn. Grouping up around from here, but Gobby, after taking all that damage, he needs to get back and into a position where he can safely play, play from in the event that they do decide to push their way out towards long. Now Tabson sits over here towards mid two and awaits it. The time's gotten low enough, so he'll just smoke it out. And in case they wanted to try and do a mid to B split, it seems like it's indecisive almost for Heroic currently, as after that, after a couple of those players fell back over there towards T spawn, now they're just grouping up at the bottom of mid once again. Actually, either force the issue here or wrap it up towards Cat, but I'm thinking mid to B, judging from the players still in tunnels. And here they go. Tabson, they actually do smoke him out, but he does grab some damage onto these players before they're able to cross back out. Leggy, he knows that they're on the way up here. The flashbangs roll in, but they're all looking the other way. Leggy just got two big kills, switches over to the pistol. It's going to be Keeve that finds a third. Mahdi coming out from the tunnels will finally trade on the Leggy here, but everybody from Big is in full control, and there's only eight seconds on the clock. And the top of it all off, they've lost the bomb, but what's this from Nico pushing in? He grabs one more kill. Keeve is there to shut it down, though and Big will claim their second. A two to serve for Big, the start that they needed. They just need now to build on it with buy round after buy round and shut down the incoming forces of Heroic. And uh, look at that, QMP 45 action. One, two, and the third one coming in straight in the after. And um, that's going to be two to zero. And now we do see the full eco, of course, coming out from Heroic. They want to buy AKs last, next round. So they're just probably going to be the do the good old rush B and let's see if we can get the bomb down. And Leggy waits for it here now, too. He knows they're on the way. He's not going to peek out just yet. Goes for the second flash and lets them push up onto the platform against him. He's got the smoke support to assist him, too, so that they don't cross out and wrap around him. It's two for him already. Looking for the third now. Nexus here, though. He's able to help back out. Tapson will grab one more, and then they'll finish it off. 3-0 start this time for the guys on big. They won't get upset in that third round. And finally, the German has, crowd has something to, to cheer for because Big are actually playing this one pretty solidly and that B-hole was actually really good. Usually, you, you all, almost always see at least one guy die when they push in and do this kind of a clock push into B, but actually both of them stay alive. And that's really important for building the economy, economy in this coming rounds. Keep now on an AWP, five AKs for Heroic. They have almost three utility, lacking a bit, so that might come in later into the round when they're holding post-plant positions, but so, so far it's looking good. Next, with a, actually, you, pretty well-timed nade. I think they do manage to dodge it, though. So it's not going to connect any damage early on here. Although, it was looking like a couple of the players from Heroic would bite into it. Another one goes in this time, just over the head of Valde. So it's going to do just uh, just over a quarter of damage to his health pool. And also, a couple of the players pushing into the tunnels on the CT side, too. But the coverage is too good, so he's not able to really see much. He'll just fall back and throw in a nade. Keeve also missing his first shot when they do try to push towards Cat. I'll just smoke it off, and he too is going to fall back over here towards the ramp. The flashes to gain map control are so good right now for Heroic. Um, just get that flash in because they know Keep is with an AWP. He can hold that angle, and we can't really do anything about it. So we flash him out, gain that map control of short. Now they have it. They need to do something with it. But surely with three smokes and one Molotov and three flashes as well, it's going to be definitely a push towards here. The A side, 52 seconds remaining. And well, let's see here. They are still waiting. 
Evo is about to repeat. Oh, never mind. Gets flashed out <laughs> once again. And uh, now they spent almost all of their flashes, so this is the time to go for Heroic. Copy's gonna fall back pretty quickly though as they start to flush their way out towards long. This is gonna get very close quarters very quickly for the guys on big. There's nobody watching for long right now. They're smoked it out, but still, they can overwhelm them very quickly if they don't pay attention to it too heavily. And now, actually, there's some hesitance from Heroic. They wanna get those long guys out. He legs the first one. Gobby picks up a kill against Valdi, but Snappy's here. A nice flick from Keeve destroys him, but Freeze is gonna take him right back down out of that one. It's a 3v2 at the end of the day, and they will be able to get the bomb down. They have a boost up from Tabs in there as he's actually trying to find Freeze on the back plat, but he can't seem to hit his Mark there. What? Next, sprays him down through the smoke, and now it's just Freeze. He's only at 17 HP, tries to clutch it out, but no, it's not gonna happen. The guys from Big will take control of the first gun round. That was really nice, but also very hesitant from Rogue. I kind of understand the plan that the guys from Short are supposed to kind of like take the edge off and take all the focus towards Short while the guys from Long are pushing up. But then you need to do that long push, long push way quicker than they did. They just waited out five seconds, maybe too long. If they had pushed on that timing, they would probably have gotten the round. But Big in the end ends up winning it, and now it will be a full force up from Heroic. They will all have AKs and armor, but they're lacking a lot of utility. And if they lose this, they'll be forced on another eco, and Big will be allowed to generate more and more economy. Look at this from Nico, just rushing right out towards Long, and Gobby knows it. He has another teammate with him here, but they've got to fall back. As if they kept moving into that, both could have been dead men. But thankfully, for the guys on Big Heroic, do show some restraint, and they decide not to push into it immediately. They're happy with taking control of the area just outside of the doors, and they'll suffice with that for now. As Snappy also waits down below here to make sure he still holds control of the mid doors, which they can use as the staging ground to execute further into the A bomb site through Cat. So that's here. Only one smoke remaining on Freeze. So um, it has to be them hitting the entry frag and then smoking off B doors if they want to go into the B bomb site. So a lot is banking on that first frag if that's the way they want to go. If they want to go the other way around, they can technically also use the smoke to smoke off CT and then do a split B or they can use it to drop one into CT spawn if they want to do that through the smoke on short. So there's a lot of options with this one smoke. The question is, it all comes down to hitting that first track going into the bomb site. And Tabs is once again on point to try and watch out for this play back over here in CT. And he blocks it okay, again, nice. Blocks it. Nicely done, so he gives himself a little bit of an avenue to play with here. The nade rolls out too. He's going to be hiding behind it. It's still tough to do anything about this, though, but he pushes out, and he actually is not going to be able to catch any of them. Leggy has much better luck as he gets two, and he's still not down as of yet, holding outside of the doorway. Gobby chimed in for another one. Nico being able to impact, though, evens it out once again, and he's going to swing wide. That's Valde that goes out, and it doesn't pay out. Leggy and Gobby close out with the last two kills, and it's another one for Big. Really nice play, and you see once again there, Heroic just lacking because they don't have all that utility. They only have that one smoke to do the play. So they th throw that smoke down and just run out to the B bomb side and do the split B. But they don't have flashes or Molotovs to kind of take out these players and get them out of their comfort zone. So they're just free to do whatever they want. Right now, it's kind of a weird middle round here. We have Muddy with a scout, so he's going to be the one taking the opening duels. But it's going to be the Deagles. If they can get one or two or three Deagle kills, then they can get this round. But if not, they're just going to get shot down. And that's going to be a 6-0 to zero lead for big. Heroic once again showing a lot of early control into the tunnels and also leading down to the bot mid, so potentially another uh, B split work, working its way in. But with a buy like this, that's going to be very, very tough to pull off as they would essentially just be relying on their ability to push in. That's a great name from Tapson, though. Oh, he had the angle, but he actually <laughs> messes up the spray, so he's going to get dinked. That's insane. Drop the 12 HP and force the fall back. So Molo goes down into mid, they know there's pressure is not short, and that's a T-push, Nico takes down Keeve, and now the push comes onto the A side, this is almost guaranteed a bomb plan, and now the CTs will have to play retake, they have plenty of utility though to do this retake, Gopi has to just, has, uh, hold some kind of attention towards long, while the rest of the guys push the other positions. There's the nade from Legia once again, as they start the re-entry, Tabson rolling in, they've got a Nora, them plastered to the wall, Madi and Nico both go down, it's all on Valde, he's got a few of them lined up, and he does tag one more, but pretty quickly after that, he'll be traded down. Good retake. Very good retake coming in. And that's the solid play we've been looking for from Big. A retake like that shows us that, okay, of course it's just against Eagles, but still, a retake is a retake, and it's kind of like the general idea how you want to do it. And they did that one perfectly. They played into their own strengths and played into the weaknesses of the terrorists defending the bomb side. So now what we're looking at uh, on the money side is going to be very, very interesting because, of course, Big are generating some economy. On the heroic side, they are having that loss bonus, so they can't afford to buy technically after this one as well. So this is going to be an interesting couple of rounds now if heroic does not get one on the board. Tabs is interestingly looking a little bit frustrated though. If you saw that over there, he's he's actually been kind of whiffing a lot of his opportunities to pick up, you know, some oh. massive plays here. So he's got six assists. Yeah. So not and not really able to to close off the frags that he really wants to get. 
uh, because he's one of these players that they are not looking for the assist. He's not a support player. He's the player who goes in and gets the frags. So this could, uh, this could be bad news should we start to see Heroic turn the game around. Just keep that in mind for later on in the match. But for the time being, Bigger still doing very well with the 6-0 lead. We are in another gun round here in Kiev. Baited into making that opening shot. Once again, as you were mentioning before, these flashbangs really good at forcing some of the CTs back early on. And that's not a big amount of utility. It's just a flashbang. The $200 uh, essentially is going to get rid of the op back over there. Thankfully for the guys on big, Tabson was still here. He did not fall back. And now Kiev is going to retake his position up on top behind the uh, behind the pallet there. I think we're looking at another B split here coming out of Heroic. Uh, they are lining up for the smokes towards CT spawn. That means they're going to run two or three into mid and the remaining parts uh, through the tunnels, okay, but there's Tabson Tabson. shut him down. Aggressive play. Perfect. Moving in, needed some frags, and he just found one there. Makes the opportunity for himself and as he goes in to take down Valdi, and look, he's going to grab a second one, too. Reese will trade him out, but now the problem is they're not watching mid anymore, so Madi just walked right in and he took down Keeve. Yeah, that frag just changed the whole plan for Heroic and forced him into doing something towards A instead because they got picked off, and they want to go straight in and get that revenge frag from Tapson on short. Now they do have control of short. There's one player along, and they're going for the split A instead of the split B, but God Copy along is holding it down, but no, he gets taken out by Nico. And now that's opened up the site. They'll be able to get the plant. Leggy and Nex are pretty far away, too. And yeah. They don't really have a whole lot of utility, not a lot of flashbangs anyway. They've already used the Molotov that they did have to try and burn out Mahdi. That worked. At least they've gotten one of the two kills, but now all they have is a smoke to play with and actually taking a little bit of damage there. And there comes another Molotov from the T side, but Freeze goes up on top of the box for some reason, and that's going to give Leggy one of the two kills. That was just not good from Freeze. Well, um, you should not be facing in that type of situation. They are boosting now one onto the side. Nico's still holding this bomb. So let's see here. They know they have to kill him in order to plant it or in order to defuse it. Nico here, 1v1 now against Legia. The smoke goes in. Oh. He's going to try to defuse it. Can Nico find this player? It's not looking likely. He's tagging him down to 48 HP, but no, Ooh. too late. Big will grab the defuse and they keep their lead flawless. Oh, wow. What a round from Big. They needed some luck and they got it in this round as well. So luck combined with great play allows them to get yet another round. But to be honest, big mistakes coming in from the two players on the T side here. Freeze peaking in that position and Modi dropping into CT. That's just, yeah. They'll be looking back at the demo and saying, okay, that was a mistake. And so after that, Big continue to keep their lead going. Heroic obviously buying into this next round. They were able to get the plant. They're still on the full losing bonus, so it gives them enough cash. But still, no traction being made at all on this T side. Is bigger up 7-0. Keeve is looking really, really good with the AWP so far on this match. Uh, he's only on a 5-4 to four score uh, on the scoreboard, but his frags make so big of a, such a big impact. As once again, the terrorists are trying their way into middle, just trying to get some map control, trying to get some information of where the CTs are playing and how they're playing the positions, but they're not getting anything. So right now, they're just stuck in team middle, looking to find something. Flash goes over, and here we go. Taps, and it's up for defense. Tapson again, who has been actually under quite a bit of pressure here too to actually perform in this position. It's mainly fallen to the guys on the site to make up for it. Well, they're going to move in, and he's actually being a lot more cautious now. Hasn't gone out for the peak yet. Nex will do the job, but he's being swarmed now. He's actually left his teammate out, and that's where Snappy's going to grab the kill on Legia. Nex has to wrap out from the wall and fall back, essentially, waiting for his teammates to move back in. He spotted a guy on the platform. That's where he's going to take the duel, but no. Madi is going to eliminate Nex there, and the guys from Heroic will have a man advantage here. Here we go. This should be a round that Heroic should be winning. Big 7-0 right now, about to give away their first round. Got B, Keeve and Tapson all deciding that that is not worth it. They are playing the long game here. They are saving three weapons despite having some money, but it's not like they have too much money so they can just throw away these three rifles. That's really a good choice in my opinion. They know that it's going to be really hard to retake that side and it's not going to happen and therefore they go for the save. So, falling back towards it, and still playing for exits, however, as they, I believe they still have quite a bit of money to work yeah, with. Yeah. And there you go, there's Keeve on the outside. One, two, easy frags for him. Trading out the guns a bit, but now they're going to go for the cross, and actually they're getting aggressive. Gavi going inside, that'll be a bit of a mistake, but still, regardless, knocking out two players is certainly going to help their case so to keep the money low on Heroic, and try and reset them right here. Yeah, if you have these two players on these kind of uh, exit positions, it's almost free because you have the guy to the left who will only be faced if they come straight out. And then you have the guy with the AWP, unless he gets pre-fired, they're probably not going to be able to take him out. So they're probably going to get one or two free frags, as they did. Then the rest of the players are going to stay back because they know they can't challenge that. But still, two frags in that exit situation is fine comparing to how bleak the round was looking. He was on the run, but look at that flashbang. It's perfect rolling in for the CTs Ooh. and the dip in for the second kill as he finds Nico and the third now against Freeze. Keem goes off. Up and down goes the push from Heroic. Very nice play from Kiev, as I said in the round before. His impact is so big on these rounds. 
And now it's all on Valde and Molly. And Valde has not really shown anything in this map too. He was going off on map one. Right now he's on one frag and eight deaths on this T side here. So he definitely needs to step his game up once again. Smoke goes down. It's going to be a split B from mid. Or not really split, just push from mid. As the flashes go over, next to receive. Valde comes in. Huge headshot. Get shot down by Legia. And Legia not getting the second one. Molly now 1v3. Considering the status, there's no way they shouldn't, the status that they were playing with before, there's no way they should even have this plan. Mahdi now gonna have to try and clutch this out 1v3. And all he has utility wise is the Molotov, and he's gonna waste no time throwing that down. He even takes a little bit of damage on his own regard from that one. But still pushing in, he gets aggressive, and the flashback at the CTs taps in though, was able to dodge the damage from it, and he will be able to find that final kill. So the CTs remain strong, and big, more importantly, are now gonna reset the T economy. And as you said early on coming into this map, that Legia had to do good damage and was able to do good damage as we see the wonderful replay here of Kiev getting that 3k. But we have to highlight, Legia is on 14 to 5 right now and you said he was going to be good on map Santos too and you were very much correct. Yeah, he's certainly been a big factor, especially on that B side too, where yeah. a lot of the time Heroic, it, it's, it's kind of weird this T side from Heroic because it seems like they want to play into A a lot, but because of the good resistance, mainly at long and uh, some of the pressure mounting against them from Cat too, they're almost always like kind of pinholed into going for these these mid to B splits. And unfortunately, although the resistance from like CT isn't Ooh. that great at all, well, I can't say my last point because we're already in the next round. Freeze grabbing the headshot on the Legia, and although Legia has been great, there's not a lot you can do about that. There we go, good pop flash coming out. He's gonna trade one for one. Keeve has to come in and, and hold this push pretty much and line it up. Nope. Snappy takes him out. So now it's 4v2 post plan and they're probably gonna go for the save here. There's nothing they can do. Unfortunately, Heroic, they start things off really well, obviously with the free shot that destroys Legia right from the get-go. And then the defenders, the remaining defenders, I should say on the B-bomb site, are just not able to impact Considering how quickly they got into the site and how much control they have, despite the utility remaining for big, this is just not a situation you want to risk, especially now that their money's been brought down a lot lower. No, and definitely that's the case here for big because they have been winning round after round, but it has been so close so their money hasn't really been building too, too much up. So they can't afford to just throw away these two rifles and, and, and go into the next round. So I really like the decision here of saving. And they've had these rifles for a long time because you see both CTs actually have a case. So these are not some that they've just picked up in this round or an old M4 lying around. These are weapons they've been having for a long time here and there. They're backing on having them for the next one as well, and that is a good decision. Heroic getting on round number two here, but Big still with a huge lead. You can see that as well, how cautious the Heroic guys were when leaving that site. They still played it like it was like almost like they were executing back into the tunnels there to keep everyone together, make sure they don't lose any of their guys. So their money is still very low, and there you go. You get a nice little replay there, Freeze tracing the shot into Legia which uh, started the downfall of Big's B-Site defense in that round. So as we talked about, the economy is going to be very key. And right now we do see two players only on pistols and one on a scout. And that's what we were talking about, why they were saving these AKs, because they need to have some rifles in order to keep this defense going. And uh, Gob B and Tabson are going to be the ones we have to look at. But Valde takes out Gob B. Good start, but gets Valde down to one HP. That is, apart from the fact that it's, of course, terrible dying off. That's good stuff, look at that! Freeze is actually able to save it. He holds on. Tabson only escapes with that single kill despite the perfect lineup. And now Nex just rushes right out. He too is going to be able to get a kill on to Snappy. But it's still left in a 3v2. Granted though, Valde, yeah, like we were just saying, he's not going to last very long. As Leggy does find a nice little tap on him, finishes the job. And they've got a nice position with that upper too. He's aligned inside of it, the scout I should say. But no, they actually take down Legia. And moving in, now it's just on Keeve in the 1v2. He knows he has the position of this one player, tries to jump it. He's stuck in this corner now. And before he gets isolated, he does fall back in his CT to give him a little bit more room to maneuver. Yeah, you shouldn't have wasted that second Molotov there. They put down two Molotovs in the exact same spot just after each other. They could have saved that and then put it down on short and put a smoke down on long. But it doesn't really matter when Nico is shooting heads like that. Three kills, not losing a single point of health. And that's going to be the third round coming in for Heroic. Heroic starting to find a little bit of momentum here. Obviously breaking big down. Certainly a key part of that one. And it was always very close. It was it was coming down to some, some pretty big clutches from the big roster. But they were able to keep it together. Now, though, after that last round, they are able to buy in pretty heavily again with the exception of Gabi, who's going to be back down on an SMG, but considering the position he's been playing, this is not the worst thing in the world. He can still play it out. And again, Legia getting tagged in the early round, certainly not going to help their case. God B, though, is not able to actually support from long over there. He goes immediately down to Mahdi. So once again, the guys from Heroic start off in the early round with a kill and a tag on the Legia through the mid door. Yeah, it seems like the first couple of rounds, Heroic were just knocking on this uh, imaginary door of Big, and now they've actually found the key to unlocking this whole DDoS2 CT side that they're doing. And they're just going left, right, and center, getting the frags. Now the B-bomb side is completely open. They can just waltz in there, just roll out a welcome mat because that side is open for business.
Nex is still hoping for some pressure to come out through mid, but that's going to be long gone. In fact, with them moving into B again, I imagine everybody on big is still lined up to save already since they're just sticking to the A-bomb site. Tapson able to hold mid, at least he finds Mahdi taking him down. But I think even the heroic guys know that they're gonna, probably going to go for the save with how much success they had on actually clearing out the site early on too. So they're going to get a bit more aggressive this time and move out over here towards like T-spawn and watching for the lower tunnels to make sure Big don't try to do anything cheeky. Okay, so big save coming in here for the Germans um, in pit and on A side. And Heroic, of course, the economy is not looking too strong yet. So they're, of, of course, looking to save most of these weapons. Might send a one or two out for, for scouting, but I don't think that's going to be the case here. Also with the AWP and Freeze, he has a lot of uh, utility as well, so he's not going to go anywhere. And that's going to be round number four on the board for Heroic. And that is the third round in a row for the Danes, who seem to have found out how to go into this CT defense and just dismantle it. The only question remaining here now is if we're going to see any sort of adjustments being made on the side of uh, on the side of big, since there are some some weak spots I'll call them across the map uh, where the players are just not really impacting where they need to. Specifically, like like tabs in over there trying to catch players when they go from mid to B splits. And Gobby's kind of fallen off a little bit at long. He was doing really good in the first few rounds, but I think the guys on Heroku figured out how to counter him in a lot of these situations. So. Well, they've been pretty consistent at taking him down ever since they were pick they started picking up these rounds. So, something we also have to talk about um, comparing this match uh, to the match yesterday is Nex. Nex has not shown up in the way that he's shown up yesterday. Uh, right now, I think he's right now on a on a combined in this match 5 to 19 KD, and that is not the Nex we usually see. So he needs to definitely step up to a level there, like the one he was on yesterday. Uh, but it's, all, of course, always hard to just say he needs to step up. Um, because he's in that booth, he's feeling all kinds of pressure. Tabson now playing over here up on top. He does dive back down again, as his job is to also watch that CT cross. But he has a lot more support in this area this time. The guys from the B side have completely evacuated in Kiev. Trying to play around with the smoke a little bit. Hasn't met too much success as he's looking for these shots. but. He'll just end up re-smoking it and falling back again. Certainly confirms the presence from Heroic there, but still, this could mean anything, as it's a very common spot for the T's to push into, especially considering that smoke works. It's kind of a two-way street to allow them to push up to those steps too. So right now, this is looking like a split A coming out from Heroic with 37 seconds to go, and the guy's lined up and short on long. Um, the guy they have to watch out for is Gobi on long, because he's close range at the smoke. When that smoke dissipates, they're going to run out, but let's see if he's ready. Gavi preparing for it. They're going to run right into him. Actually, the flash, it's too late. And there we go. One, two, three kills for Gavi. I don't know what that was, but the timing on the flash was so bad. And now Tapson moves in. Snappy trades it, but it's all on Snappy now at a 1v4. Keeves even smart about this. Doesn't want to play the risk on it. So he just leaves it to Gavi to close it out with the final kill. Wait three seconds. Time the flash correctly, and that wouldn't have been a problem. Gopi, of course, is very good, so when he gets that chance, he's going to punish them. But that was a misplay from Heroic. They could have waited two, four, five seconds, and then timed that flash perfectly, and it wouldn't have been a problem. But then they die three guys to the guys at long, and they can hold down the guys from short without any presence that long, and that's just it. Heroic pretty much dropped the ball on that one, and now Big is back because they are punishing every single mistake that these Danes make. Snappy moving his way downstairs here early on, too. He's in the flashbang to do it. They're even being cautious of Big just getting aggressive now too to crush them. So even having to take precautions in areas that you normally would not have to fear too much. Oh, oh that's a bit, of, <laughs> a bit of an NA name there, but <laughs> thankfully he doesn't take any damage from it. Yeah, juicy memes. EU, of course, best. <laughs> Everyone knows that. We do still see the rest of Heroic stacking up, mainly outside of the B tunnel, actually. This is going to be a big push coming in, and Big themselves will have to defend it. Legia, first up to bat with the op. They don't flash over to it. Apologies, not the op, the scout. And as they move it, he'll miss that shot, but still, now they know where to avoid. The flashbangs are actually good moving in. Nico has found Legia, though, and Nex does not want to seem to commit to it, so he'll just get smoked out. Tabson, though, is up at the window position, and they're ready to move back in. There's a good flashbang. He's found one. He knows there's one below. He takes him out. Snappy, Nico, and Nico again. Trade out the kills, though, and Freeze closes things down to give Heroic the round overall. Yeah, very nicely played round by Nico, uh, getting a, a triple kill once again. He's one of these players, his frags aren't the flashiest, but he's just consistent in getting them. And he's always in the middle of the scoreboard. Right now he's on the top of the scoreboard, but usually when the match is over, he's sitting on the middle of the scoreboard because he's not needed to be that number one player. That's going to be Valde, but he's that secondary star, just getting consistent frags all over the place. Freeze once again tries to go for the door bang in that left side, but not getting it this time around. Xbox smoke coming in from the CT side, usually one we see the other way around, but that's because Keith is edging his way out on short. With the op nonetheless too, so this is a big risk being taken with such an important gun considering the minimal investment on the rest of these guys. He ends up falling away from it. It's like two damage from the Molotov. Again, nothing really to worry about so much here. 
And it's Snappy posted up against the doorway that will wait for the rest of his teammates to group up here. And it's Havson also just inches away from these guys, potentially, to battle them on the other side. He gets hit by that flashbang, but they don't check it. In rolls Tapson, but he's only able to get that one kill. And what's even worse is that Valde caught a trade on the next. Here we go, Valde trying to get out there and do another one, but he's not going to be allowed to. Tapson picks him up, and Tapson looking for seconds as he get that one. That's actually your third of the round. So now it's a 2v4 situation. Tapson is hot. And got B, can he hold this oh. flashbang? Fully flash, doesn't care. Grabs that one. Saw the shadow ahead of time, so he knew he was going to come out regardless yeah. there. And not only that, too, but the flashbang was on its way. Usually the follow up there. Now, Nico, in the meantime, did sneak onto the A side and get this plant, but they're surrounded at a 1v4. And this is a ballsy position he's taken up here, too. Just on the edge of the smoke moving in, but it works. The guys on big actually are moving in just pretty haphazardly, keeping their players pretty far apart. So it allows for him to isolate these singular 1v1s. Not paying attention to his behind, but there we go. He picks up one more kill before Tapson finally shuts him down. And it will be an additional round being picked up here for big. So a very much closer game that we saw in map one here. And this is really showing that this is big maps to come and play on. Uh, train was not really good for them, but now we on D does too, and they can actually do some damage. But Heroic, of course, not a bad side at all. So. It was, uh, I'll say, uh, quite an even half, to be honest, but of course, big coming out on top. Yeah, absolutely. So things in the second half are certainly going to be interesting, though. Uh, one good credit I will still give the guys over here on big is that their pistol rounds have been really, yes. really consistent so far. So I think that so long as something doesn't go horribly wrong there, I still think they have a really good chance to take control of it, especially considering this is their map pick going into it again. Yeah, definitely. The one thing that I think Heroic are missing if they want to take here on Dust 2 is going to be Valde. And uh, of course, on the big side, they need Keeve to, to step it up even more than he's done so far. And next in the picture here, he's actually sitting at the bottom of the scoreboard for Big. And that is not where we usually see him. It's usually the other way around. He's on the top of the scoreboard. But right now, that's not the case. And if Next steps up and Valde doesn't arrive on DE does too, then I think we're going to go to map three. I mean, if Next shows up, this is this is definitely going to map three. That's, that's <laughs> the one thing that, that uh, that's pretty much pretty certain at this point is because Tapson, Tapson's definitely increased his performance. He started off a little bit slow uh, in that position playing towards CT, but he, he definitely chimed in a lot more towards the end of the half. And yeah. Legia has been there for most of it too. Even Gabi uh, really having a really good performance and holding long for a lot of it too. Getting aggressive even when need be too to, to isolate the potential for the guys on uh, the guys on Heroic to take control in the later portions of the round. So here we go. Pistol round set up. Two smokes, two flashbangs, and two nades on the big side. So this is a big investment in utility and only three players on the pistol through the armor. So I'm very much looking forward to see what this is. Right now they're stacked up two outside of A doors. One's T spawn and two in B tunnel. So this is looking like... Well, I haven't really seen this before. It's very, very split up. So I'm curious as to what this is going to eventually turn itself into. Now, Legia has that smoke to support it. Okay, the names so. are going to go out on towards B, but it seems like, yeah. Yeah, the they'll fake fall, play. They'll fall back away from there, and I imagine over towards Cat. The timing is the next big question, though, because obviously those nades go in, but now where's the follow up? Because they can just assume it's going to be a fake after nothing ends up going into the site 20, 30 seconds later. So, what they wanted to do was get that double nade down and get the first frag onto B, forcing the rotation. The rotation, the, the kill didn't happen, but the rotation was forced. So now we have another player on that B bomb site, and now they should split A, which is really good. But the two CT players are playing long together. That means that they can hold this long control if they just hit their shots, and then short will be the retake. Free spotting this aggression over towards long, but it's only a single oh. player. It's a cat play, and as you were mentioning previously here, just the one fake ends up working out because now it gives them free reign over cat, but they're still really slow with the actual push onto the site. Now there's two players over at the car spot to be able to counter this out. Flashbang starts to roll in, but Valdi's over here on the ramp spot. He's going to look to counter this out. There's one for him, looking for the second now as they struggle to get onto the site. Cheeky's one out from the back, but next now trading. He'll take down Valdi. It's Freeze. That actually has to fall away from it. Gives them control, but Snappy's over here on top mid. He's going to be able to take down Keeve and brings us into a 4v2 post plant against Big's favor. So there we go. Nice fight from Next. Finally showing up. Double kill here in the pistol round, but it's still a 2v3. Let's see if Legia can hold it. He can't. And now it's going to be all on Next. Can he get the ace here in the pistol round to bring it back? No! Moddy shuts him down. And once again, the retake comes in from Heroic, and they are very successful in that. Pistols were looking good for Big, but obviously when the pressure's against them, it's not the case anymore. So Heroic's players do manage to battle back into it, and they're going to start this half off 6-10. Yeah, Valde is so good with the USPS. When he can just tap away, his aim is just above pretty much everyone else at this tournament. And that was that full, that's that full confidence again coming in just from the last map with how, how well that they were playing back over on train. It's, it's been a bit more of a struggle, obviously, here on Dust 2, but the pistol run is certainly going to help to maybe bring them back to that level. Nico has actually been the more high-level player here from Heroic on this second map. So let's see. 
couple of pistols, of course, com uh, coming into big, not a big, big investment for them. Two flashbangs and a smoke on next, so that's going to be the execute. Uh, only is that that is what is remaining after this first smoke going down. So I could imagine a quick short push, maybe or something. Um, yeah, I think they're just going to go off short. Take that map control, see where that takes them, and then push onto one of the bomb sites. Moving up towards Cat very quickly, and it's going to be a controlling play. Next, grouping up with them to add a bit of utility to the mix. But they could drop one into CT now if they do the CT smoke. That's actually could be a good play. No, they're getting ready for it here. Yes, First up, there we go. The smoke. And they will start to oh, push okay. their way out. Everybody just is gonna, just actually going to move in together. And there's the flashbang too to stop Freeze from finding them as they cross. They're just leaping through. The second flashbang is used, so they're out of utility. That's really nice. They've got nothing left, but they do get onto the site. They do guarantee the plant. And this is with very minimal investment. They've actually found a kill here too. Nico chiming back in, but he's taking a lot of damage. He's at a 27 HP. Another one of them just got dinked. Freeze is down at 12. Mati shutting out next to the very least. Freeze and Nico finding more kills. It's down to Keeve again, a 1v4. But three of these players are lit. Unfortunately, though, that's not going to matter. Nico will eliminate the last man standing, and Heroic will still pick up their second round of this half. But let's be real, that was mission accomplished for Big, to be honest. Uh, they, they went up to short with minimal investment. I actually thought they was going to drop another player into short with that smoke, but they just used it to walk up on short, used the two flashbacks to get that guy on side down, or force him away from the side, and then get the bomb down. And with the bomb down, it's pretty much, um, if you get something extra from that, then that's fine, but the bomb down is what you really want. So now we go into the third round with Big having the the, uh, the plants there. Obviously, it's going to give them the biggest buy that they could uh, hope to look for. Yeah. They've got basically full utility. Keevan actually is going to go for the glass. Oh, no, there we go. He picks it up a little bit late. So Keeve still gets himself the full up buy, I should say. Next as well with armor behind his. He's going to be a little bit lighter. I think he had to toss the gun over to Keeve, but still... It's, uh, it's basically the best case scenario, and especially with the SMG still being present on Snappy there, they may yet have a chance to steal this one away and make sure that they hold on to their lead to really start off the second half well. So here we go. Snappy still on that UMP45. Nico still on the FAMAS. And lacking some utility there. Actually, Modi is not even on a single flashbang anymore, so... When these T's decide to hit a bomb site, it's going to be very hard for the CTs to hold with one minute and ten remaining. And just as you see to the left side of your screen, not that much utility remaining. So if Big come in swinging and hit the first entry frag, then it's going to be incredibly hard for Heroic to hold him. And also if Keith can open things up and he can have AKs running by him at the same time, I think that's going to be the key to getting this round. I'll be sneaking back over with the rest of his team. Big overall are remaining very, very quiet across yeah. the map too. Definitely not wanting to give away their game plan as this is going to be a fairly large risk just brute forcing their way in with this many players through the tunnel and only having one guy go out towards mid. And I imagine on a bit of a delay too, either late or early, to probably try and draw a distraction over towards it. But no, it's the tunnel guys that go in first. And while Mahdi picks up that first kill, Nico is going to chime in for a second. Unfortunately for the guys on Heroic, all these kills have been traded back out. And still, we've yet to see Gabi even move an inch. He's actually just going to stick around here now to cut off rotators. And we'll see if that pays off for him in a moment here. As they start to move in, the guys from Heroic will check it, but... Gabi is so far detached from that door that they assume it is safe as he sits on the outside of the tunnel watching for it. Now, the bad part about this is this, this is going to allow Snappy to walk right in through the courtyard. So they haven't been able to account for that. The flashbang goes in, and this is where that plays off big time. As Snappy's going to be able to find Keeve. More of them move back in, but here's the flank from Gabi as he shuts down Valde and Freeze. Now Snappy, he's the only one left alive, but Gabi, he's still on the site, and Snappy just got the kill. He's jumped onto the bomb. Gabi, you've got to move in there, man. You don't have enough time left, but no, he gets the kill, and Big will stay Still claim this round. What a round from Gopi. Once again, the team captain of Big steps up huge and gets that double from that position in the back and then ed edges in it, his way into the bomb site, kills that last CT diffusing. That has to be one second left or something like that on the bomb. So that was absolutely key. That position and that rotation. Nice from Gopi. Gobby saves the day. It was a bit worrying whether he was actually going to take the route <laughs> through the tunnel to counter out uh, yeah. Freeze, who had moved in through the courtyard, or whether he was actually going to cut off those two players outside the wall. But he makes the right choice, and he's able to just barely stop that defuse from happening, too. So nicely played from him, and it continues the lead for Big here, and that potential to push this to a third map. Legia, Ooh. though, the big push comes out from Nico, and it shuts him down early in the round to give Heroic Eyes, the Heroic Eyes, a little bit of an advantage to work with. But now the Terrace are pushing up towards Long, and there's three CT players on this bomb site, but they're in very, very bad positions. But look at this from Valde, running in with a 5-7. One, two, three, frag, surely for the Dane. And next is all that remains. 
And he is, well, he's going to get that frag, but 1v4, that's not going to happen. Two of, the, both of the, two of the remaining players from Heroic double peek it, and that's an easy way to shut it down. So a big play again comes out from one of the members of Heroic, and the tables turn right back into their favor here. Now, oh, what a round from Valdi. Finally showing up to the game here on Diotus 2. Yeah, I mean, we were seeing some good stuff from him towards the end of the first half, but overall, I mean, pretty much everybody on Heroic had been rather quiet. Now we see Valdi coming back in, and like I mentioned previously, like on the pistol, the confidence factor is definitely going to start rolling in for him as he continues to make these, uh, these huge plays uh, for the Danes. So 8 to 11, Heroic still trailing behind, but Big are going to be on an eco round or pissed around here. Only one Deagle on Legia, so he's going to be the one to watch surely for the T side. But this sh should be around for Heroic, but the way that Big played their eco last time, they played it with utility and got the bomb down. Um, I kind of wish that they would have done the same in this one, to be honest, uh, because the minimal investment of two flashbangs and a smoke is almost the same as a Deagle. But they move out. Wow, okay, that's a big miss from Freeze. What is <laughs> Peace is out here right now, too. All in his lonesome. And the, rest and the bomb just ran out. Yeah, so that's a bit odd. And um, overall, this round's going to be pretty easy for Heroic to shut down. Snappy and Valde, they picked up two more kills. And Leggy and Next, they got nowhere to go. Is now I think they're cut off at the flank, too. Madi's just moved in, so they're stuck here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as uh, Leggy comes to a fiery death, and basically just gets wrecked by Valde. I have to say, this looked like the exact same round as he did last time, but they did it with no utility, and you, you can't expect to get into a side like that. You have to put the smoke down, you have to get the, the guy on the side, off the side with the flashbangs. Of course, Freeze missing that first shot has to be a good start, but you just can't expect to get into a side like that. Double Eco, of course, coming in now, grabbing a bit of utility as well, uh, but we'll be buying up in the next round. Overall from Big, it's going to be a push initially over here towards the long doors. They still have kept Tapson in the tunnels, but everybody else is grouping up here. Imagine again really just countering out the aggression if Heroic wanted to try and play this out a bit more uh, forward in this round, but it's not the case, and now they can start to proceed their way towards the actual take they want to attempt to do here. Obviously, the last round didn't, didn't end up working out the way that they had planned. I'm imagining some communication issue or something like that, but they've got a yeah. little bit more utility to play with here in this round at least, so they can try and do something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more complicated if they, if they should choose. Yeah, and they do have Keeve on that Deagle, and uh, as everyone knows, if you have a Deagle with the Blaze skin, you're going to get 50% more headshots. So he's definitely got <laughs> something done this round. Well, we start to see the Cat play lineup with some assistance coming in from Long too. It's got to be starting off on Cat, and he will have Tabs and supporting him from behind. I think they're going to send these two guys on long, potentially in first again, and act as the distraction. There's the initial smoke. And Gabi's out, but he's not actually pushing past it. This is still a very safe position for him. The long is, though, still haven't moved an inch yet. They're stuck in those doors there. They don't want to peek it. And he's still have Snappy watching out for it. Freeze hits his first shot. The long guys follow it directly after that. Freeze has killed his second player, and now Snappy chiming in for his targets. That's Keeve gone down. The bomb is going to be a late deployment over on the cabin. It doesn't even matter. As Valdi's in a spot to completely shut it down. Another very swift one for the guys from Heroic. Mm, crickets right now in the audience. The Germans are not satisfied with what the Danes are bringing to the table. The homeboys of Big are not really living up to the name right now because they have been falling off in the last couple of rounds. But hopefully now, this is the buy round. They had two Ecos in a row. They have to bring it back now. Okay, we'll see if he can catch anybody on the cross, but the nade coverage is good, so doesn't even take the chance on it. Okay, this is actually really nice. I was about to comment on this because Keeve takes the opening duel, okay, as we see Valde go down, but he buys the armor and the smoke afterwards. So if he dies early on, he still has the money. But if he doesn't get killed, then he can buy that off after his peak. That's really nice. Nico and Valde, again, just picking up these kills. Yeah. Whatever happened to Big here? It's all falling apart. Legia tried to sneak in through the B tunnel, and now it's just Keeve who gets destroyed by Freeze. This, seems this, is, this is like two out of the three rounds that just seem really weird from Heroic. Like they just weren't even talking, our apologies from Big, where they just weren't even really talking to each other. So the pause that was just called now from Big is, is much needed. Yeah, definitely. This is, this is looking like night and day from Big because they were looking absolutely brilliant on the beginning of this map. And now they're just pretty much, of course, they have two Ecos, but they've thrown three rounds away in a row. And that's very uncharacteristic for a team under God Beast leadership to not communicate and not play together very well. So surely they're going to step up now and get the remaining parts of this round. But they have to because the economy and Heroic is really getting out of control. Still looks like it's. It still looks like uh, um, 
Gobby still has things sort of under control, as we see. There's still definitely like a plan about it. I mean, we look at it in the last map, right? And he just looked like furious <laughs> with the way he was commanding his, his, his team. And that, and that seems to be like, he, he's not necessarily a, uh, a leader, which, which you know, he's, he's kind about things. If you do something wrong, he's going to tell yeah, you about yeah, it. Yeah. He's going to show it like in his facial expression. So we can see that now. It doesn't look like he's necessarily like angry about it yet, but, but there is some frustration starting to roll in. So now we're going to see the upgraded pistols and some utility on the T side. Probably going to go for the bomb plan in this round here. But that means the Heroic are probably going to get on 12 to 11 and grabbing the lead after being behind for such a long time here on DE does too. And that is not going to be good for the confidence and big. That means if they don't get the next coming by round, it, it might be done soon. And that's incredible by the fact that big looked so good in the beginning here of does too. Yeah, but all of a sudden they've lost their lead. It's tied up now, 11 to 11. And Heroic hold all the cards here as Big are back down onto another eco. Four of their players, it's that same setup from their last eco here too. With all four of their players stacked outside of the long doors and they still keep taps in, in the upper tunnels to watch out for any movements on Heroic's end here. Let's see here, Snappy, just holding down the angle, re-smoking long. Still some utility left on the ter on the CT players. A uh, bunch of flashbangs on the T side, so I would love for them to use all that to gain some uh, map control before they go into a position like that. Freeze, of course, misses, but usually you want to flash him out before that. And they know that's on the way, but Freeze isn't in the car spot this time, so he actually can't really stick around to assist with this, and Stappy, that's somewhat dangerous to be uh, peeking out for that in the event that they just rushed over onto the platform, but it's not the case, thankfully, so he's still good to wrap back over there and get into a safer spot. Big will get the plan, and I mean, they're being given plenty of time to hunker down. Ultimately, though, it's, these, it's this gun power that's really going to kill them, and the fact that they've used all their utility just to get out onto the site. They don't have anything left. A single flashbang sits on Legia, but that's it. In the meantime, Heroic, they're not looking too good either, but again, they've Ooh. got the gun advantage. However, there's three, four kills out of nowhere from Big. It's down to Snappy now, who's trying to push back in from long, but it's a little bit late. All of them know he's here. They're going to go right out. He'll get one of them, but that is it. Next, grab the trade and big will pick up a round they had absolutely no business doing so a bounce back straight off that timeout as we usually see them and uh, that was a great great a push coming in there and orchestrated by god b himself with all the utility getting on the bomb side saving one single flashbang for that pop price they knew exactly when the cts were going to be rotating pop flash in and then just three pistols firing at the same position knocking that down and ashes that they have no business taking that round but nonetheless they took it and it all started off, too, with Freeze kind of giving up that control. Freeze yeah. had actually been pretty good when he was playing to the car spot, but this time he tried to take a risk and playing behind the pallet, and he just didn't retreat fast enough to the car position, so he went into CT, and that basically gave up the site for free and gave Big those positions that they used to just absolutely destroy Heroic when a lot of their players pushed in through CT. Yeah, and that's the thing about Freeze. Like, he's a really good AWP in a position like the car spot, but if he's up close with an AWP and he has to react really quickly, that's not where his strengths lie, at least in my opinion. He could be of a different opinion for sure. But... When you force him into a position like that, he's probably going to miss more than he's going to hit comparing him to placing him on a car spot. So I'm kind of curious why he went for that aggressive wide peak because he knows they're going to be on an eco and he knows he's probably going to be flashed out, which they didn't, which I also disagree with. But still, that's a weird decision to take. Well, we've got Keev already peeking his way into the upper tunnels there. Not going to be spotting anything from Heroic, as they're actually holding a pretty passive uh, style of hold over there on the B-bomb site. Nobody up on the platform, no even behind the big box. You just have, I believe it's Mahdi sitting on the back site, and then Nico remaining a little bit more mobile near the doorway there. Watch out for mid. So here we go. Five players still alive on both sides. Utilities non-existent on Valde and Modi. Nico with one flash as well. And on the T side, they have plenty of stuff to throw and actually still remaining five Molotovs. Tapsent will start it off here by pushing his way in and that's a great Perfect. flashbang to completely eliminate Freeze from this hold. He has to fall way back over there towards Long. Valde though is still a factor in CT and they're not accounting for it, but Nex is there to cover. He'll take down Valde and now the B flush is on here. Nico's gonna have to try to hold in the window position. Mahdi though, nicely found from him. He finds like yet Nico picks up his kill. Tapsent and Gabi have been able to trade out frags, but a lot of these are happening towards A and they're going for the plant. They didn't even realize that Nico is here. He's gonna run forward, finds Keeve and Gabi and now the time runs out. So Heroic will steal this round. That is a big communication error because they knew that Modi was in position. They dart the first player to him, but the two remaining players, they didn't even look to his position. Now it's straight for the plan, and then one guy watching doors. That's so weird because usually on a God B team, you see the communication being so clear, and Modi's just allowed to grab this 1v3 and make the time error. Of course, they're really, really care thinking about the time, and they have to get that bomb down, but still, you have to get that one down. And oh, look at that from Freeze finally stepping up, getting an all back onto Keeve, and this is not looking good for Big. It's 12 12 and they have this kind of weird round with Legia and only on the pistol. Their money is down the drain again too. I think after this one, they're on a full save once more. So this is not what they need right now. 
That should have been much, much cleaner considering the way they opened up the round, but yeah. not accounting for that player in the safe corner was easily a huge mistake that, you know, if this goes in long form, potentially the game and their tournament lives here. Yeah, and as you said, actually, the money is going to be down the toilet. They have two players who will be able to rebuy something, but the remaining players are buying down to zero dollars on this big side. That means if heroics get 13 to 12, they're probably also going to get 14 to 12 unless big rolls out something crazy like they did in the last eco. Well, Freeze holding still at the car spot there. He's already picked up the one kill on this round. And the rest of Big, well, we're just going to wait and see what they can do. Now, they did recover the gun for Legia there, so he still has that to work with. They're not completely outmatched here yet. But if they lose even one player without being able to trade it back on this push-in through Cat, then their odds are not going to be looking too good to actually close out this round and still keep control of the lead, let alone this match. That's a great CT flashbang, too, looking at it. Halted them all at the edge of their smoke that they threw out to give them the room. Freeze is ready for it, but no, that's actually a huge miss. And now Valde's pressure, but Tapson destroys Valde. They get the site control. Freeze is still here in the open in the lane right now. He's looking to challenge it, but there's no one to shoot at. And even when he gets it, he's going to miss again. So Legia trying to edge out Freeze now with an AWP of his own. The CTs are playing retake now, 4v4, two flashbangs and a smoke to do that. So, uh, fly out, smoke for the, for the bomb is very important here for the CTs if they get into an eventual 1v1 in the end. Legia now waiting on it on a dime's edge. See if he can catch these guys peeking Perfect in. It's flash. a good flashbang that's tossed over, but another one for one trade happens. No, Freeze faster on the trigger, and look at that. An absolute shutdown of the hold comes in from Heroic, and they manage to pull off the retake to now take the lead off from Big. Yeah, nice coming back into the round from Freeze. He misses a couple of huge shots in the beginning, but then lands two in the end, so redeeming himself there. Uh, of course, the AWP legend from 1.6 here uh, has been playing for pretty much all of CSGO's existence as well in that AWP role, so he is still one of the best AWP players in Denmark. And now, as I said, Big are going to be on this weird kind of half by they have some pistols they have some armor some utility but it's not a case and they need the a case and the orbs on keeve to win this round that means heroic probably are going to be on 14 and that's two rounds away from taking their spot in the final although big has uh has something up their sleeve for this round that they haven't yeah. yet shown us as this is uh this is rough and it's gone right back down to the type of buy that we've been seeing previously too where they just have these pistols with little you know like a couple smokes to play with this time though it's not that same style of play where they go out towards long and cat they actually are going to try to mid b this and nico is ready for it he's oh. deployed the smoke in the flashbang i think he's actually going to get aggressive he pushes way style. through and there we go he finds one doesn't get the second though as he fails to account for next diving into the smoke amadi is caught reloading <laughs> and keeve is going to destroy him they get the site they get full control of it there's still three up and running for heroic we've already got guys going into the tunnels and that's where snappy's gonna find a little bit of a mini duel with key he knows where he's coming from though so he can account for that and fall back into the site oh valdi spraying into gavi here just barely missing it a little bit lower and he may have had it but there's legia finding snappy takes him down freeze does manage to burn legia out after the fact but now they're down to two and they know where both of them are coming from here valley tries to sneak in shuts down gobby one player's low but next is able to hold on with just five hp he finds the kill on the freeze and they've isolated that last player to where he cannot clutch this out there's the round from big and they absolutely had to win that to stay in this game absolutely insane round from big and once again we see them on the eco rounds or almost the eco rounds they're just taking wins away that they should not be taken and of course it's due to great play coming out of the big players but also some individual mistakes coming in from the heroic guys but now it's 13 to 13 we're all tied up and heroic could either go to the final or big could bring us into map number three nonetheless it's one hell of a cs game and so now for the guys on a big, the real question is, is what's the what's the appropriate avenue to take here? As it's been it's been a bit rough to find consistent ways for them to get onto these bomb sites here. They've been trying a bunch of different things and a bunch of different things have been working, but at the same time a lot of their strats when they try to repeat them, they're countered out almost immediately by heroic here. Yeah. And that seems to be the one thing Heroic are really good at reading what Bix wants to do. And there we go, Freeze opening things up, and now he's in this position again. Uh, surely they're going to flash him out this time if, if they want to go onto short and get him away from that angle. Nico has also got a peculiar spot here too, outside of the doors, and this is where he can impact. Gets one, he saw the bomb being tossed too, and he's going to be able to aim in for the second one. That's Keeve gone down. Tabson and Legia already down to these two, and they don't have any control to work with. Just in mid, Legia tries caught jumping by Nico, so he's going to get his third on this round. Tabson's able to spray in a trade on the valley but that doesn't matter that much now he's in the 1v4 and all he has to work with is a smoke he's doing uh, the short smoke here to uh, either go to short or fake that he's going onto the a plat and then going down and picking another position he still has 35 seconds to go so he can 
he can do something about this. He can go along if he wants to. The problem is that the CT player's already pushed up and we switched him now and that's Snappy here. And he even hears the steps now, so surely he's going to be shut down. But yeah, there we go. Snappy shutting it down. He hears the steps and that's the mistake. And that's going to be the round for Heroic. Big, we thought they were back, but now they're slammed back into the ground again. Heroic continue, to, uh, Heroic continue to lead the chase here in terms of getting up to the 16 round mark. As the guys from Big, well, they are able to trade this out and consistently sort of keep it even. Now they're going to be up against the wall here as once again their money will be brought down. They are able to invest actually kind of all right, but now there's an aggressive play that comes out there through the mid door. That is, uh, that's Freeze that tries to take the shot. Doesn't connect, but thankfully for him, there's not really anybody in a position to trade that from Big either. And now they're gonna roll right out. Perfect flash on an eco. Mahdi's not in a position to assist with that one, and they take him down. Tapson is leading the charge. He grabs both of those kills. And Heroic don't even know what hit them. No, they're probably gonna be saving now because the, uh, the terrorists now have that B bomb side and they can just hold the post plant position, which means that Big are gonna even up once again. And these last couple of rounds are so back and forth between these guys. We see Tamsin now stepping up. He's on 23 right now, but on the other hand, Nico's on 27, finally stepping up big time into this land event. And well, it's gonna be 14 to 14, five weapons saved for Big, and that has been their problem so far, getting that economy rolling. If they save all weapons, they're gonna be good for the next one. Heroic though, still also saving their guns too, so they're not gonna have a problem of rebuying back into this one. It's been, it's been a, especially in these last like five or six rounds too, it's been a really big question in terms of whose economy is actually gonna be fully broken first. Big have been able to work with a very small amount of, of an arsenal, but I don't think Heroic's reached that point where they've really been broken in this half. So, no. so when Heroic hits that point, if they're not ready for it and they don't have, and they don't have a strat set up for a potential eco round, then they could very quickly be shut out of this one and Big can just take the lead and send us to the third map. So here we go, replay coming in from the Tech 9 action from, uh, from Taps in there, all on the back of a perfect flashbang. Get that first frag onto Nico and then get the second one from the backup of his teammates. Keith not going for the shot through the wall here. So with the way the money's positioned right now too is we just got a quick glimpse of it. If Heroic drop this round without saving enough guns, then their force buy is going to be extremely weak going into it. And that'll give Big an almost certainty to be able to try and close out on the 30th round of 1614. Yeah, they basically have two guys who are going to be able to buy up in the next one. Maybe three, uh, just two. So they need to save three guns or more in order to have a full buy in the next one. We do see that with some very slow move ups from Big, but still decisive. And then pushing over towards Cat here. They still have kept Legia watching out on the upper tunnels there. And also keeping Nex further back out towards Long. But the other three are positioned on Cat, preparing to move themselves up in, in there should the need arise. But with a minute on the clock, obviously there's no need to rush things. They can still sit back here and run the time down a little bit to cause the uncertainty from the heroic side. And they're even cautious of a guy pushing into mid. Someone on big just saw a ghost or something. Yeah, very cautious there, Keith. He wants to make sure that he will not be taken out from any weird angles. Modi going down to 25 HP early on, so this is a big advantage for Big. And here we go, Nate's coming in. It looks like with the short push that they're gonna go onto the A bomb side. Freeze has to come up huge now, but he's being smoked and flashed off. Has to hold the angle, he has to back up on long as well. So they're gonna move themselves in. Freeze versus the bat, but again, he gets flashed out. Time after time again, he's been isolated away from the site and has not been able to contest it. So he falls back to long, and Big are just gonna walk right in and plant this. Not only this too, but look at Legia's position because he was in the upper tunnels previously. He's got a really good spot to counter anybody that moves over towards Cat for the retake. The utility usage to get onto that A-bomb sign has been so good so far, but oh, Freeze, he has the idea that someone's there. Misfires the shot though, unfortunately a little bit too late and he misses the flick too when someone actually does peek out. It's Tabson that finds the kill onto Mahdi. They've lost him and now it's the save. To move in. It's going to be Nico that finds Legia, but it's on the route out of here. The guys from Heroic are no longer challenging this. They're going to let Big get up to match point as they need the guns for the next round. Definitely. And as we talked about earlier in the round, that, that save becomes such a huge part of this round because they're not going to be able to go for it, especially not with Freeze not being able to hold this one down. Tabson going for another one. Let's see if he can get it. He can't. That leaves one rifle on the big side. Their money isn't great either. So the question is, will they be able to get an orb with full utility? Yeah, that's gonna be the uh, that's gonna be the question we'll find out here in just a moment. And it does look like you can see Big spreading the guns around a little bit. Keeve having the Tech Nine. Now the only question is, yeah. is the op there, and yeah, it is. So they Good. will still have that in the arsenal to play with here. But conversely, heroic because you mentioned previously they need to save like two or three guns. They still save three at the end of the day. So they too have another full buy. They did not manage to completely break them, and it's gonna come down to this: a full gun round to decide either OT or Map Three in Big's favor. What a game we've had so far here in those two. Such an exciting one. Heroic on the ropes now, and 
the A executes have been so good from Big. And I'm, I'm sure they're going to try and do the same thing here once again. Freeze has to hit the shots now, but he's been flashed out every single time. But now Valde's with him on short, and they can play this combination. And Valde's going to push up towards it there, trying to get any intel that he can, or just edge out these shots. Not successful. Freeze, this is this is risky though, because remember the last time we tried to play this, he ducked away and went in towards CT, and this allowed Big to get the site. They just shut down Valde. Freeze this time though is falling back in the right direction. He is still here to contest this from the car spot, so at the very least have that going for him. And the Molotov is very well timed too. They got that kill on the Valde, right? But they're not getting any additional control yet. Definitely, you know, the smoke goes down again, and this looks like yet yeah, another egg take from the guys of Big. They have Molotovs, they have flashbacks, they even have smokes left, so this A push could be huge for them. The CTs, they have Snappy on long and Freeze on short with the AWP. And Snappy gets shut down! It's all come down to Freeze now. The rotations are still not on the way yet. Finally, they've called for Nico, and I don't even think he's going to fully commit. He's still watching out for mid. The potential for like a mid to B is still alive. So Freeze, he's been iffy so far in this map, and he's cut out at long. They don't even see him. Legia moves right in and shuts down Freeze. Nico and Muddy, the last two standing in a 2v5. They can't save any longer. They have to go for this, but they don't have any utility. Nico has a single flashbang to try and forge his way back in, and he's got to time that perfectly in the right situation, too. And no, he looks away from Cat at the wrong time. Muddy's going to move, and he finds one more. And oh, Keith dives right into the spray. So hold on, we're not done yet. Muddy, though, he's running out of time, and he's only got 21 HP, so he's going to move in quickly, looking for anything else that can help him. He goes for the rifle, but there's only three bullets in Tap. And he's just gonna take him out big. They strike back. They tie this up at one to one And we're going to map number three to decide this set and who will be our second finalist here at DreamHack Leipzig What a crazy